for this chapter, you need a periodic table next to you. You need a calculator and you also need you also need to re recall how to write chemical formulas. You also need to recall how to write balance equations. So the full chapter, right? You have objective A to M, but you don't have to do H, I, and K and L and M. So we are going to skip some of these things. If you can compare, you will see that that's the slight difference between the NA syllabus and the O-level syllabus. So we have something called the relative atomic mass. This is something that later on you will find in your periodic table. Some revision again, we have the carbon-12 atom in, in this slide. So you will see the carbon-12 atoms inside the nucleus, there will be six protons and six neutrons. Then you have mm. electrons revolving around it. You have this here, then you have all the electrons revolving around it. Say, then this is called the carbon-12 atom. Then if you look at your periodic table, the, pro the nucleon number is 12. So if you go to a periodic table carbon, then you see like that, right? Okay. Yeah. So it happens that, uh, so that is, okay, so this is your nucleon, nucleon number or the mass number. For some reason, the mass of carbon atom is very easily determined by the scientists. Or it's very convenient to, to obtain the mass of the carbon atom or oh, it's very convenient for us or for the scientists to reproduce the mass of the carbon carbon atom so it's always 12 so that is what happens so that's why down here we use car carbon 12 so relative atomic mass right the definition is that it's the mass of other elements compared with one atom of with one twelfth of the carbon twelve atom. So in the in the exam, if they ever ask for definition, they will ask for the word definition. So you just throw the word definition again. So you can find the relative atomic mass in the periodic table. So we have the periodic table here. So in your periodic table, let's say just now carbon. This this periodic table is a little different than the number. So you have carbon here, that one piece, right? Then you have one number here and a bigger number here. So earlier on, we call this proton number, right? Then we also call this atomic number. Nucleon number. Below is a nucleon number. Yeah, yeah. Nucleon number. The atomic mass. Atomic mass. This atomic mass. And then there's another number, there's another one, there's a mass number, some, some teachers call it that way, some books call it that way. So it's nuclear number, atomic mass or mass number. Atomic mass here means relative atomic mass, which is our main character of today's lesson. So in, in this case, so you can read the mass number or the relative atomic mass of carbon is 12. Then I can, you can look at this one, say palla palladium, then the relative molecular mass, no, relative atomic mass of palladium is 106. Okay, then you can go to lead, then you read from the periodic table that the relative atomic mass of uh, lead is the mass number. Yes, so this is how you identify the relative the atomic mass mass number chlorine is 35.5 then you can go to anyone like say this cobalt you'll be 58 then iodine is 127 so you need to know how to read this that's why i say you, you need cobalt a periodic table 59. yeah so that's why i say you need a periodic table okay yeah so where can you find the relative atomic mass you see on top <laughs> You go to this one, right? Just now I said go to that one. Then after that, you see two numbers. The one on top, the smaller number, smaller number is the atomic mass, atomic number, then proton number. The bigger number is this. Because, okay, bigger number is relative no. atomic mass, nucleon number, and mass number. Why I tell this, right, is because some periodic tables, they print it this way. Okay, they print like that. There are, there are multiple versions of the periodic table, the old syllabus and the new syllabus one that we use, right? The old syllabus one print like that. Then the, the current syllabus, the periodic table is like this. So if you look at 10 years series, you may find that certain question, right? The, it is still written like that. So that's why, you know, the small number is the proton number, the big number is the mass number. But 
for a school, right? The school school worksheets and and whatever practices they give you, they should be giving you this periodic work. Okay, you there? Periodic work. As in, periodic as in. Periodic work, periodic. Whatever you have right now should be this twenty twenty one periodic table where the number is small. The small number is on top. You get what I mean? Periodic table was made in twenty twenty one. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. If you have noticed, we have been using the same kind of periodic table since the start of my lesson. But in actual fact, the periodic table started way earlier and in the beginning, they, the periodic table did not look like what we have right now. In the very beginning, scientists start, uh, started to try to organize whatever elements that they have discovered. So Whitley Otley, he was the he was one of the first people to arrange the elements in a logical manner in, in the periodic table. So then later on we have the Mendeleev, he made this other periodic table, he organized the elements in this manner. This is one of the earlier versions where we have elements uh, organized in eight columns. And so what we have in books right now is the modern periodic table. So you will see the what in what you see in your textbooks and Tennis series will be one of the few periodic tables that you see in the next few slides. So if you have a old tennis series or old textbook, maybe probably 10 to 15 years old, you will see that in the periodic, their periodic table will look relatively diff slightly different. So look at this. You will have the relative atomic mass on top and then the atomic number below. Which means if you look at it here, the bigger number is on top and then the smaller number is below. Then now, you will see a periodic table like this. It is very much similar to the earlier one that you saw but there's a slight difference. So the atomic number is on top then your mass number or your atomic uh, atomic mass is actually below so if you want to have a clearer view example you can see boron then boron has smaller number on top and then the bigger number below which if you take a flash we just go back for a bit and you see that this one the bigger number is on top the smaller ones below then the current a level books is also in the arranged in the same manner the, sh the look of the periodic table is very much the same then you have the atomic number on top again so and then the atomic mass or the or the mass number is below then one difference here is right if you look at boron again the smaller number is on top the bigger number is below just take note of the mass number now the mass number has 1 dp earlier on if you look at the old level one every one of them there is no decimal place only chlorine has a mass number of 35.5 chlorine is the only one with 1 dp that's the difference between the periodic table you see then of course there are other interesting periodic tables interesting as in it, it looks relatively different from what we have so we have the racetrack periodic table in 1933 a content you can read the contents on your own this one looks like a racetrack then you have the spiral periodic table in 1960s and you have the cold ribbon periodic table which is from 1975 so these periodic tables we don't really use them yeah but they i believe they have their own kind of use they look interesting as well then these are not th not the only periodic tables that are available there are many other versions of periodic table that many people created but then uh there, there are too many for me to compile and talk about so if you are interested you can google about it i think you can find a big handful of different periodic tables yeah, that's about it for periodic table. Come back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, the periodic table is made made long, made long time ago. New periodic table. So, so different school, they, the periodic table will look a bit different as in the way they represent it is a bit different. Like, see this one, you notice that the mass number has a lot of decimal places. Yeah. yeah. Then you see the one that we use, the mass numbers are usually whole numbers, right? 
except for chlorine. Chlorine yes. is 0.5. Chlorine is 35.5. Yeah. Other than that, anything else, right, is off whole numbers. So this one, right, this is also a periodic table used and they use this for A-levels. So the periodic table looked a bit different. You see the mass number got a lot less more. Then this one, right, this one is the one they use for O-levels. The O-levels periodic table and the N-level periodic table is the same. So depending on which year it's being pub publicized, right, like that which year they use, which year this periodic table is used, right. So the O, the older books, right, the O periodic table look like that. The, the numbers are in different position. What you have now, you are using, and your exam will be, is this type, where the atomic number is on top, okay? Means in the past, for exams, they use the, the atomic in the past, mass on top. Uh, yeah, yes. Because when I was studying, right, the atomic mass is on top. Right? So I have to tell you this, because if you look at your tennis series, right, you may come across... Certain questions where the mass number is atomic number, uh, atomic mass is on top. That's all. Is that they may get the old periodic Your, no, table? No, no, no. Now exam, you won't get the old periodic table. But I'm just telling you that in case you see a question that is quite old and you will see that the mass number will be on top. So then don't be surprised or say that there is printing error because in the past it was like that. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. 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 So don't be surprised. Okay. So we got that. So then now down here, they say state the relative atomic mass for the following elements. So this is just checking that you know how to read the periodic table. Nitrogen is 14. These are all correct. 